Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Tuesday, and you know what that means. We're getting the first of two guaranteed team of the season packs today. First one today is going to be for the Saudi League. So I want to take a look at that today, but also talk about yesterday a little bit as well with the content that we had with Bundesliga team of the season upgrade packs being released. The grind is not as simple and the way, the best way to make these upgrade packs is not as clear cut this week because of the change and just the nature of these Bundesliga 80 plus times three player picks because it doesn't just require five rares this time, it requires 11 rares. Basically the premium pack and the player pick have the exact same requirements, which makes it a little bit less easy to craft and get a lot of these open. But I want to take a look at how there's actually a really good chance for you to pack blues inside of this player pick SBC. And I want to take a look at the Bundesliga Tots cards once again, as a lot of them rose yesterday after that Sunday night to Monday morning rise. We normally see that. Some of them could fall, though, in the next day or two with some hype around the guaranteed um, Bundesliga Tots SBC tomorrow on Wednesday. And usually we've saw it. We, we saw it during Community Tots and a little bit last week during Prem Tots. Some of the cards were pretty low even on Tuesday night because of the weekend league rewards. Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. So I know that's kind of a little bit tomorrow, but just kind of keeping an eye out for maybe some of the best times to buy or invest in some of these Bundesliga Tots cards if it's one that you would like for your team. So I want to take a look at that in today's video. If you didn't check out yesterday's double upload, make sure you do because we looked at La Liga team of the season predictions. And I'm telling you guys that right now it seems like Bundesliga Tots is just kind of, we're just kind of cruising through it. It doesn't seem to be that incredibly hyped except for a couple cards, but I think that's all going to change this Friday with the La Liga team of the season. It's going to be cracked, I really think. So hopefully we'll get some hype building for that in the next day or two, maybe with some leaks or a loading screen, stuff like that. I think that I think this Friday is going to be incredible with La Liga team of the season, but we're not quite there yet. So we got to take a look at what's going on with this market in the here and now. So if you're excited for today's video and it's been helping you out, the videos on the channel, hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about the upgrade packs first, because you can see the counter. You're like, Nate, you pack some blues. The counter is up 44 blues. We have packed. Yes, I did pack four yesterday. Um, I packed three out of the Bundesliga 80 plus times three player pick. And I packed one out of a normal two rare gold upgrade pack. Yes, there's a couple different ways that you can do these player picks and these SBCs. It depends on where you want to put your coins and where your account seems to have better pack luck. Last week for me, for Premier League Tots, I was doing the premium upgrade only and then rinsing into the player pick. But this week... I was getting better blues in the premium upgrade as well. And a lot of you guys were getting them in the player picks. This week, I think the player pick, if you're just trying to pack blues, is 100% the play. Because let me talk to you about this, right? This, again, it requires 11 rare gold players and not just five like the player pick did last week. Now, the reason that this requires more gold rares, as I maybe can complete one of these right now on the video, the reason this requires more rares is because there are a lot more... Um, you know, rare golds in the Premier League, and there's a lot less in the Bundesliga. So that's why there's the change from last week. Shout out Bruno from Newcastle, by the way. Spurs fans loving uh, the result from yesterday, as well as Newcastle fans. Sorry, Arsenal fans. Anyways, had to put that in the video. Wouldn't, wouldn't be a TFA video without a little Spurs mention, would it? But since the Bundesliga has so many fewer rares and gold rares, there's like 33 of them that are 80 plus. You have such a high chance of packing a team of the season item that EA, it would just be, they would be making it way too easy if they just put these cards out and they said, okay, here you go. You have a chance uh, of just turning in five rare golds and you have a chance at getting a blue. That would have just been tr way, way, way too easy. So that is why you see this and that's why you see the 11 rare requirement for these player picks is because the player pool is so much smaller so it gives you a higher chance of packing a blue now again that's what i'm saying if you're just doing player picks and upgrade packs to get the blues and you're not so interested in like crafting and doing other sbcs by you know these opening these packs or whatever then the player picks are 100 the way you have the highest percentage probability of packing a blue or an informed shick we'll take that uh, out of those player picks because that player pool is so slim. Now, if you want to craft, I still think there's a way you can craft. You can buy the rare golds like we've been doing, and instead of just putting them straight into the player pick, getting one player and being done, you can still open the premium Bundesliga upgrade pack, get 12 players back, three rare, still have the chance at packing a blue, 
Then with your rares, rinse those into the player pick. After a couple packs, you'll be able to do a player pick. And then your non-rares, you can put into the gold upgrade SBC. And I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on these because we have some really good Saudi League Tots right now in packs like Talisca, Romarino, especially those two. You'll have a chance at packing those. And I'm getting great fodder from these. Don't sleep on these. I'm telling you. I said it last week as well. I know it seems like you're just whatever turning in your non-rares to a, 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 an upgrade pack that's not good. That pack is actually really good. So that's where I've been rinsing. And I did pack a blue out of a two-player pack today. That was my 44th blue. It was a Saudi League Tots goalkeeper. So that's good fodder, right? So if you're trying to craft SBCs like I am, I'm trying to get Vieira done, trying to get Ronaldo done. I got Modeste done yesterday um, and any more of the Bundesliga TOTS SBCs that they would put out or maybe some of the Prem TOTS player SBCs that are still out from last week. If you're trying to get fodder, I think the best way to do it is to buy the rares do the premium pack. You're going to get some extra fodder than you would if you just do the 80 plus times three. Rinse your rares into the player pick and then your non-rares into the gold upgrade, which will at the very least give you more rares to put into the player pick. So it's not as straightforward as a grind as last week. It's really not. It just kind of depends on what you want to do, right? I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to open some of these premium packs and I'm also going to open some of the player picks. And as of right now on the market, I'm pretty sure gold rares are still under a thousand coins. And I think it's going to stay that way at least for a couple, at least for another day or so, because there's just not as much hype for these cards. It's plain and simple because the upgrade packs are not as grindable as last week. Uh, yeah, 900 to 950, these are even sitting on the market at 950 for these gold rares. You see a lot of people that are probably selling these off because they know that you know their investment at 650 is not gonna go as high as last week. If you invested in these, I would hold off still until we get towards the end of the week as more and more people continue to do upgrade packs. But this is going to make doing upgrade packs this week cheaper as well. And there's, again, such a really high chance of packing those blues because that pool from the 80 plus player pick specifically is a bit smaller in size. So that's kind of the situation with the upgrade packs. Let me know what you guys are doing down in the comments, how your luck has been. Again, I'm, I'm having better luck this week than last week. Absolutely just because I think it's so much easier to pack a blue from the player pick. Now, I haven't gotten any sand cards. I got Neuer, I got Thomas Muller, and Frempong, nothing crazy there. But at least it's blues, and we're going to keep the counter going up. And if I'm packing blues like a duplicate Neuer, 95 rated, that helps me get another segment done of Vieira. And now I'm actually uh, three squads away from getting Vieira done, which actually means I'm like one squad away, uh, one 89 rated squad away, and then it's just silver and bronze cards, and then I'm done. So I'm almost done with Vieira. Pretty close to being done with Ronaldo as well. Should be able to get those crafted by the end of the week. And if you need another reason to do some upgrades and craft, we have a leak here for a pretty insane Bundesliga center back that might be dropping. Not might be today, and these are not confirmed stats, but this is just something to be aware of. Gavardiol is added to come via SBC. This is a card that was in the TOTS vote that a lot of people wanted to see get into the team of the season. 93 pace, 90 defense, 95 physical. Here's the thing. I know these are predicted stats, but I would almost guarantee you that this card is going to have 90 plus pace and probably 90 plus defense and physical. Because if you take a look at his inform, which is his only other special card that's on this game, you, you know, if you imagine a Tots card, it's probably going to get like 90 to 93 rated for a Gavardiol card. So we're looking at plus 8 to plus 10 in every single stat category. That's going to push him basically into the 90s and all the pace and defensive stats maybe defense would be slightly less but then his dribbling and passing is going to be great too he's got a four star weak foot which is kind of handy for passing around the back great passing stats this card was really really good earlier on in the year as an inform really cheap but also really good right i mean look at those stats for an 81 rated card if this dude gets a nice juice, which hopefully EA do during this week of bonus to Tots, this would be a card so many people would want to go out and do. He does have the Leipzig links. So you think about a guy of like Klosterman who you could link him up with. And again, like we've mentioned multiple times, it's the pace split on these cards, which Klosterman is up big um, right now, 380k after being 220 last week. Again, Bundesliga special cards rising like crazy. That's why everybody's investing in La Liga for this next upcoming week. It makes sense if it's a hype card and rare, but you look at the pace split on these cards, right? 93 pace, he's got 89 acceleration. And Gavardiol's got a good uh, pace split as well. 85 pace, he's got 80 acceleration. That's really good for other cards, The or contrary to other cards that we saw last week, like Van Dyke, who has 87 pace, but 78 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. 
That's the difference with these Bundesliga center backs is that that pace split is so much better. They're going to feel more fast, quick, and responsive in game because that acceleration stat is a, is a bit higher. So that's one thing to look at with all these TOTS Bundesliga center backs. Pretty sure Indica's uh, acceleration is pretty high, 87 to 92. Like that's a great pace split. So uh, that's a good segue to talking about these Bundesliga TOTS cards as well. Whether uh, we get really good content today or not, it's, like I said, kind of a quieter week in general. I mean, with these cards in packs, there's definitely not as much hype as there was last week for Prem Tots. That's just the nature of the beast. That's just how it is right now in this game. As we mentioned, a lot of these cards had really nice rises from Sunday night into Monday. GG's if you bought some. Like I bought Verts down here at 355 and sold them all the way up here uh, right around content drop. I sold mine for like 410 to 415 K. He even went to 430 and he's now back down to 390. I think there's going to be an opportunity to potentially get in on these cards. Maybe today on Tuesday, if there's any sort of panic and tomorrow on Wednesday, I think those could be your two opportunities before they might go up a little bit on the weekend. Now that was kind of how it worked last week with Premier League too. If you guys remember, with the Premier League Tots being released last week, you saw the lower tier players that got packed a lot during the guarantee SBC. Guys like Bernardo Silva, Ruben Diaz, Diogo Jota, Trent Alexander-Arnold. On a Wednesday, when that guaranteed pack was dropped, those lower tier cards got hit in price for like the first 10, 15, 20 minutes. They nosedived because people were packing them or selling them to go and do that guaranteed Premier League upgrade tots pack this week for bundesliga you're probably going to see the same sort sort of thing i'm really going to watch a card like diaby davies verts holland um and then maybe even neuer as well frimpong and slaughterback are going to be pretty cheap cards that you want to be careful with because they are going to get packed a lot but tomorrow when that guaranteed pack comes out i'm going to be looking at like today on tuesday night heading into weekend league rewards and then tomorrow on wednesday with the guaranteed pack as an opportunity to maybe get in on some of these cards. But if the content continues to just be kind of lackluster, there just won't be that much hype for these cards and they could continue rising on in the next day or two. But I still would maintain a little bit of caution because what caused these cards to drop so much as I just invited somebody to a game on accident, that's the only problem about having a broken R2 right now. I'm inviting my random friends on the friend list to games. Anyways, uh, one thing that we have had this week that has really moved the Bundesliga cards is the lightning round packs that are Bundesliga specific. We talked about it big time on the weekend, right? On those crazy lightning rounds that they were running on Friday night into Saturday, Tots Kimmich was 600K, right? Tots Kimmich, Tots Kimmich is now 800,000 coins. All it takes is for them, which they did last week on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. They ran lightning rounds on both of those days. All it takes is for them to drop those same lightning rounds again another time later on this week or two or three more times, and these cards are going to take a hit in price. Um, and especially if with these cards not being as hype as some of the other ones, that might affect them a bit more than it did the uh, Premier League cards last week. So that's just kind of one thing to keep an eye out for and be careful with. In my personal opinion, unless you want to buy one of these for your team, and it's, it's like, okay, Nate, I'm going to run Sule and Alfonso Davies in my team. I really wouldn't want to invest in one of these and hold on to it for super long. I can totally understand buying a card like Alfonso Davies for your team because you want that left back uh, in the club and you want him to stay, right? All I would say for is I think this Davies can be hit a low point of like the lower to mid 200K range before going out of packs. Maybe it's like 240, 230 to 240. I think that's you're, you're going to find a price like that on this card before he goes out of packs on PlayStation. Uh, that's a, a price for PlayStation. So that's sort of the thing that I would watch out for if you're wanting to invest or buy any of these. Um, you know, even if it's one of the more hyped cards, if it's an Nkunku, you know, Nkunku is probably going to rise out of pack as well because he just has so much freaking hype right now in this game. And with the price range update yesterday, his price was just swinging so much. Uh, how many pages of supply does he have right now late night? He's got one, two, three. Yeah, he's got about five, six. Okay, so he's, I don't know, he's kind of in the middle. He's hes kind of supplied, but also still pretty rare for being a 1.7, 1.8 million coin card. Um, I just think that, again, with a lot of hype this weekend and with a lot of big cards dropping potentially for a La Liga team this season, this card may take a hit after the weekend, kind of like a Hyunmin Sun did, right? Hyunmin Sun on Friday was like 900K, and now he's like 770 or 740. So 
750, right? So he's dropped off a decent amount out of packs. And I think that's going to happen to some of these Bundesliga cards next week too, just because the La Liga Tots has a lot of potential. The Bundesliga Tots just doesn't cut it for some people in terms of the hype. So that's kind of what I would say with the Bundesliga Tots card. Just be kind of uh, careful about those. Uh, but definitely watch them and there will be opportunities to make coins with them. Now, speaking of making coins, just really quick, I got to flex this a tiny bit because it was, it was such a great, we made like 800K coins yesterday doing some quick flips and Cuckoo, when he got his price range update, went from, you know, 2 million coins all the way down to 1.6. I snagged one at 161, could have bought some more, but we moved, sold it at 179. So that was about 100K profit right there. Then the really big move was Taliska, which Taliska got a price range update as well. And let me tell you guys, he is extremely overpriced. These cards, all of the Saudi League tots, I would be very careful with, but specifically Taliska and Romarino with the guaranteed pack coming today. These cards, I'm going to be very, very careful with, but take a look at this guy, this guy Taliska, right? He was um, extinct at, at 850. He went all the way back down to 900K after the price range was updated. And then um, like all of a sudden, he got really, really rare, got bought up, and he exploded to 1.2 mil. And I actually sold some of my Taliskas too early. I bought four of them at 920 to 930,000 coins. And I sold three of them at 1.07. And I sold one of them at 1.17. So between these cards, the Davies that we bought, the Diabies, and the Verts, I made about 800,000 coins yesterday, which was a banging day of trading. It was so good. As you can see, I've got a lot of... Um, La Liga specials here on the transfer list. I got some Vinnies for 700k low, and he's right now in the high 700, so we're looking pretty good there. You know, your La Liga special cards on days like this today, where we have a little bit of panic induced potentially um, by an SBC, definitely take a look on the market and watch for some drops around the content time on those La Liga special cards because they're continually getting invested in, they're continually starting to rise. And just focus on ones that people want to use in building teams as we head into this weekend for La Liga team of the season. But speaking of that SBC today, Saudi Tots Guaranteed Pack. Of course, last week for the EFL Tots Guaranteed Pack, and this is something to kind of keep in mind, they added a Tots Swap token as one of the rewards and they made the SBC a little bit more expensive. So I'm wondering today if they're going to do that same thing uh, as they did last week for EFL Tots for Saudi league today. So maybe it'll be an 83 or an 84 rated squad. And I could seriously very easily see them putting a token inside of it today and making it that 84 rated squad like they did with EFL last week. Now, again, like I mentioned, your best two cards that you could potentially pull from this pack today would be Romarino and Anderson Taliska. Still both very overpriced. I think Ever Banega is still overpriced as well. You're going to need to see a Brazil flag or the Argentina flag to be happy today out of that SBC. And even if you see Brazil, it might be Bruno Henrique. So it's just going to be a, a cheap SBC today, hopefully, um, with... Um, you know, them not putting a swap token in it, I think it could be an 82 rated squad. It could be as cheap as that, but we'll see what they do. Uh, of course, if you are able to hit a Talisca or a Romarino, it's going to be insane, but most people are going to be hitting the goalkeeper or the center back here, Higazi, maybe, maybe a Gallo for a Man U uh, fan wanting to get in a Gallo card in the club, but I don't expect anything crazy from that pack today. Also, Gavardiol potentially today, maybe. Uh, we did have a player SBC yesterday, and it was the um, center attack in mid from the Bundesliga. He did get a five. He does have five star skills. I don't know if that's a boost on his card or not. It is. He got five star skills, and it was a really really nice boost. But he really needed the four star weak foot, and I think that this card would be so much better, and so many people would be more excited if it had that four star weak foot. He does have some pretty good stats. He has got the average body type, which is a bit of a bummer, and he's medium, medium work rates. I just don't think too many people are doing this. It is cheap. It is 92 rated, craftable if you're doing upgrade packs, but it does, just does not get the kids all hyped. This is more of an SBC that gets people hyped. So we see if that comes today, maybe tomorrow, who knows, uh, but just kind of keep an eye out for this Gavardio because that's the next big thing in terms of a player SBC. Now, speaking of fodder as well, we haven't even talked about fodder yet. Um, it's, it's still slowly rising. You've got your 84 rated cards approaching 4k. You've got your 85 rated cards are in between uh, six to seven K your 86s are up. This is all rising nicely because of the nature of the SBCs that have been released. That icon pack is repeatable two times, which is a little bit more demand. And then of course, with the guarantees coming today, I would expect to see 82, 83, 84s probably going up with that 
uh, Saudi League tots guaranteed today. And then tomorrow with Bundesliga tots, more of the same. Probably going to be an 85 rated squad there for that one since Prem was 86 last week. So you're going to see this lower to mid-tier fodder continue to slowly rise, which is really, really good if you've invested in it. Uh, and you're just kind of waiting for that boom, which could come in the next day or two on some of these cards as you see those SBCs released. Now, I, I think I mentioned it on yesterday's video, like the 83 plus times five Bundesliga. That pack is in the code. Uh, but then all of a sudden they drop this 75 times 10 Bundesliga upgrade, which is completely hit or miss. And it's going to be repeatable again. Um, I think this means on Wednesday, we're going to be able to do this one again. So not today, but tomorrow, we're going to be able to do the 75 plus times 10. I hope that's not replacing our 83 times five because the 83 times five would kind of be cracked. That one is just not as good. I know that's 10 players you're getting from it, but it just does not seem uh, to be that good. So it just we're just kind of motoring through the week, right? We're just trying to get some good pack pulls, trying to get that tots number as high as we possibly can. Um, I did have a, another nice red pull. We're two for two now on team of the season reds being usable and going into the team. I swapped out my 91 rated fantasy Alexandro for a 93 rated Alfonso Davies after a nice red player pick pull yesterday. So that's the biggest update to the club at the moment is getting Davies and Sonny on that left side. Nice red picks. I know that I'm off on chemistry a bit, um, but we've got eight chem Davies going to try them out for sure. Uh, and probably going to have to start playing some games in Bundesliga Cup to get those objectives done uh, and get some of those player pick rewards. So the team is looking spicy as ever with a slight update from this week's uh, rewards, which is nice. Loving these guys. Kane is still so good, man. Scores a lot of goals, assists well up top. Loving the team, ATM. And I'm excited for more pack pulls and to see. I'm going to keep spending uh, coins on packs, right? We have so many. I barely even lost coins last week from doing a lot of upgrade packs for Prem just because we kept spamming them and we, and we kept making coins at the same time. So uh, I'm going to keep doing player picks this week, as many as I can possibly put together, just in hopes of getting an Nkunku, a Jude, a Kimmich, uh, Lewandowski, Holland. I would love to pack as many bonus league cards as possible, try them out and have some fun with them and collect them into the club as well. So those are kind of my thoughts about what's going on right now in this game. As we move on throughout the week, we're going to definitely get some more La Liga hype. So be on the lookout for that. Um, of course, one last quick thing. I know we're running a bit long, but I want to mention Swap Token Tracker. If you guys have not missed it, there are 16 tokens that have been released. Now, a lot of them, about half of them have expired. Uh, but if you're behind, like me, yours truly, uh, then make sure you kind of catch up on these and look at some of the objectives or SBCs that you might have to do to catch up a bit. I'm going to try to get myself to 14 tokens and they have not released the store token yet. That could be today on Tuesday as well or, or pretty soon. Usually the store token is a bit later on uh, and that could impact the market a little bit too because that would probably be a Bundesliga specific pack and that could cause some movement on the market. So just kind of keep an eye out for whenever they're going to release that store pack um, because it's going to be this week and I think it could be Bundesliga specific. I haven't seen pack code for that. Um, so I'd have to go back and look through and see if there's been anything released uh, or if it's just going to be kind of just put out there and with, uh, without much of a notice. So we will see when that ever that drops. We will cover that accordingly. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.